Hello, uh, Chris again here from Mainframe. So just gonna show you something a little bit different. This is less about being fully procedural, more about the idea that you can re-topologize meshes uh, by using ProSet. So in this case, I wanna change a typical polyplane mesh. Actually, let me just change that, sorry, that should be 10 by 10. So I wanna change this, it's very vertical and horizontal, and I'm gonna change it into a diamond structure. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use a little hidden node in Maya called poly remesh. And if you just type that into a mail command, you'll get this. Uh, this is what's used by the type node, by the way, for deformable type behind the scenes. So it's hidden there. Now I know just from doing this before that if I do this and set that particular value to 0.4, I'm going to get some topology where I've got something that I can use with ProSet. So I've got some spoke vertices here and they've got four coming into them and I've got spokes with eight coming into them. If I delete these verts and their associating edges, then I'm gonna get a nice diamond pattern. So let's just show you that in action. So if I select an edge and just do a uh, delete edges, I'm gonna out click on a, with the mesh select, I'm gonna out click on, on a ProSet. I'm gonna pick that. And then I'm going to switch my component mode to edge. No, I'm going to switch it to vertex. I'm going to then convert that selection to edges. And my spoke mode is conveniently already set to four. It's exactly four. So well, you can see what's going on there. That's, that's worked nicely. So now we've got these diamonds. Um, we do, of course, have these edges here where the spokes were obviously different numbers because we're on the edge there. Um, now we can tidy that up quite easily by doing the same thing again. If we just do an edge, um, edit mesh again, and we're going to delete. We're going to go back to our object. We're going to make a pro set. And this time I'm just going to do component size. So let's just change this to edge. Use component size. All disappears. We drag this down. You can see there's a little sweet spot there where it disappears. So just is just just something really useful. Um, you know, creating this kind of topology is quite difficult. You may have seen um, a, a tweet that we sent out with a cylinder. It's using really exactly the same effect uh, and then taking these faces, using another pro set and extrude, um, beveling the edges and then extruding those faces backwards and, you know, adding a smooth and you can get some really interesting things very, very quickly. Anyway, just a very quick tip there just to um, get your imagination going and I'm sure you guys can find other interesting ways to use it. Cheers.